I'm an American. I'm an Israeli. I'm an American Israeli. I was born in Connecticut, 1969, and uh, grew up in Israel till I was 30 years old, and I moved to America. I served in the Israeli military for 18 years, and I'm Jewish. Two weeks ago, Saturday, 6.30 in the morning, I was at home in New Jersey, waking up, go to my phone, and I tell my wife, something's going on in Israel. 6.30 a.m. Saturday, the holy holiday, the very holy holiday of Simchat Torah. A brutal terror attack of more than thousand, thousand of terrorists coming in from Gaza, surprising Israel, went in on a brutal, horrific, barbaric attack, killing civilians, raping women, killing young kids, beheading people, simple savagery not a military act, just a terror attack on civilians. Israel was established years ago after World War II, after the atrocities of uh, the Nazis in World War II. And one of the major things, or the number one thing of uh, when establishing Israel is that so the Jews will have their own place, their, home, their own home where they can be protected and safe against barbaric and religious prosecution. One of the things we always say as Jews is never again when we talk about the Holocaust that killed six million peoples. Never again, never again. And October 7th, 6.30 in the morning, in our own home, that's exactly when it happened again. That day is a shock to everybody around the world, every Jew around the world, and especially people around in Israel could not believe the, the sights we saw, the amount of people killed, innocent people dead, murdered, raped, atrocities, inhumane things like barbaric acts, pure, pure terrorism. To try to convey the shock and the, the magnitude of this event, think of it as Americans, as 9-11, uh, 9-11 magnitude with about 40,000 40,000 dead people, proportionate to our uh, population here in Israel. Hamas is ISIS. Hamas is ISIS. I had a few videos uh, loaded up, ready to go uh, online that, uh, that weekend. Obviously, I was in, in no state of mind, and I, th I thought it would be inappropriate to load, you know, to, to be happy in those, in those days. And the past two weeks, I've been, you know, in a state of shock, trying to recover. But as time is going by and uh, the war is uh, continuing over here in Israel, I realize that uh, along with the state of Israel that after the shock and the, the, the horror, it's about time to get up and uh, start smiling again and start uh, living our lives. We're going to beat terrorism by not being terrorized. We've been getting so much support from uh, you guys, from subscribers, from members. Wishing, uh, you know, wishing all good and all best for Israel, and it's so heartwarming. The friendship between America and Israel is is unbelievable, and it's been it's proven how how strong the relationship is. Really, really heartwarming. God bless America. God bless Israel. God bless you all. Thank you. So from this point on, I'm going to have a few videos. Try to be back to normal again. Try to feel. Try to get back into normalcy again as much as possible. I can tell you the Jews have been here for more than thousands of years and they're here to stay. And if you're Hamas, I can tell you one thing, you're walking dead because Israel is coming for you. You're walking dead. And on that note, let's try to uh, put a smile on our, face, on our faces again. We'll prevail. Am Yisrael Chai. Am Yisrael Chai means the Israelites, the people of Israel, are alive and here to stay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you later on today. God bless America. God bless Israel. God bless you all. Thank you.